The fourth evidence that you have touched God is that you receive from Him an unction that transforms your life and then from you transforms the nations. Did you hear what I said? Genuine power. You receive from Him an unction that first transforms your life and then from you transforms the nations. Verse 46, same Luke chapter 8. And Jesus said, somebody had touched me, not by word of knowledge, for I perceive that virtue, glory, power, unction has gone out of me. My God, I perceive people were touching me. The reason why I know they did not touch me, even though they were making contact, was that nothing was leaving me to them. I came full and left full. Nobody placed a demand, but a woman who never attended his services, a woman who never had the opportunity to sit under his teaching because of her situation, she reached out by faith and unction, glory, power, left God. Do you know, I submit to you, I understand this thing that Jesus has said. This statement, I understand it. If you really walk in the anointing, you will understand what Jesus said. You can literally, you know how you draw a drink from a straw and watch that drink? You put a straw into um, some container huh? and then you draw and you see it rising and it's reducing in the cup and entering your mouth. That's what Jesus was saying. You can feel unction leaving you. Not like it's killing you, but it's like a deposit for the people. You know when they are drawing it. I've gone to meetings where way before I entered the auditorium, you could sense a pool. You could sense hunger. You, you know that the people came to receive. There are times that you know that just a handful of people, people were just there for the ceremony, but the hunger to receive was not there. I've prayed for people and sometimes sincerely, of course I just believe by faith, but you know that something that was supposed to come out from you did not come out to them. And there are others sometimes you are passing, you even have to turn and like Jesus said, who touched me? They did not make contact, but the, right from that distance, I never make contact one-on-one -on -one with Reinhard Bonke, but my God, ask God and ask him, something left evidently from that crusade ground and landed on this head you are seeing. Who touched me does not mean who made physical contact with me. Who was hungry enough to discern what I carry. You see, you have to discern. The Bible says, he that cometh unto God must believe that he is to discern. How can God be passing and he passes my problem and acts like he did not see it? It is very typical of God to act as if he did not see it. Blind Bartimeo cried. This woman cried. Jarius, the centurion, cried. Don't keep quiet and just assume that after all, he knows all things. He knows my family problem. The devil will tear your life into pieces. You cry, thou son of David, if I can't touch you, I can shout to your ears. Do you believe what you are hearing? Power. There is no man that touches God and nothing leaves God and enters your spirit. Genuine, authentic power. Power that produces results. Reminded of my experiences with him. My God, when his majesty reached into my room, light at his brilliance. This one, it was not me that touched him. Oh, maybe I touched him with hunger. My encounter was purely a product of mercy. But when he stretched that majestic hand towards me, it's like connecting a man to high voltage electricity. Every part of you, from head to toe, resonating at the frequency of that power. Listen, genuine power is not just by talking and making noise. If you have an encounter with the God of the Bible, except you, you met a demon, that transforms who touched me 
I sense that virtue has left me. Who touched me? Who placed a demand on the healing anointing? Who placed a demand on the spirit of wisdom? Who placed a demand on the grace for signs and wonders? Who placed a demand on the grace for influence? Who placed a demand on the hear ye him anointing? Who placed a demand for grace for wealth and abundance? Who placed a demand on the spirit of wisdom and revelation? He said, who touched me? You know that you have touched him because something leaves him to your spirit. Listen, when Solomon touched God in that encounter, I hope you know it was a dream. If you were Solomon's roommate, you would get up in the morning and say, good morning, sir. Not knowing the man that slept is not the same man that woke up. Something had come upon his life. I hope you believe what you are hearing. You want to take the nations for Jesus? You want to do mighty things for the kingdom? Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. It is going to take beyond your zeal. There is an ability that only God is the ultimate custodian, but he can give it to men. My God, 